I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the Bantamweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Use your feet! Finish with a hook! That's what I want to see! Gets rid of that body shot. Good job protecting himself. Way through round number one. He scores with the left. Don't let him get to you. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Well, this can be four, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Another clinch. Final ten seconds of round number one. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's Positive, you know that he had a good round. I want to see. Here we go. Round two is underway. Blocks the headshot. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He is stunned. He could go down. That straight right unable to connect. Good job staying away from the danger there. Halfway through this round. Good step back counter punch there. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. 
Wow, is he defensively sound. Able to dismiss it. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab, hook. There you go. You're not winning. And you're not losing, Keith. We have to throw more than this guy. We can pull ahead, but we gotta fight. We gotta keep going. You gotta do it. Keep serving. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. He missed with that headshot. 90 seconds to go. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Wow, I like what he's doing right here, Teddy. He's just taking control of this fight. Hurt his opponent already. Now he's pushing him around, trying to get another shot in. Yeah, he wants to get full leverage. He wants to get him right in a position where he can nail him a shot and finish this. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Able to dismiss that body shot. Hey, gotta see that coming, let's go! Solid left hand to the head. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Keep your hands up. Don't worry. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working the yab, okay? Double up the yab and keep moving. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up! Don't go. Ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four, but I still think he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Ooh. Pushing his opponent back. He's just looking for some room to connect again. Yeah, it looks a little bit like George Foreman when he was in there with Joe Frazier, parrying him a little, pushing him to a distance where he can nail him. Keeps his hands up defensively, oh, protecting the head. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Keep doing what you're doing! Yeah, 
seconds to go in the fourth. Gotta see that come in. Let's go. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Listen, get caught up. You get caught up, and you're fighting this fight. Focus for me. Take your time out there. Also tiempo. Take your time. Keep the pressure up, but don't follow him. Cut the ring off, all right? Set up the power shot. It's there for you when he moves in. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nice work, the left hand to the head. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Double up the function. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Keep doing what you're doing. Ten clicks of the talk. That was off the mark. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. You have to double jab, all right? He's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see that double jab. Double jab, right hand, okay? Don't worry about it. Get in your rhythm, okay? He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. And now he's targeting upstairs. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. How about that left hand? I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. He just missed that shot up top. Now he ties up there. You got this one. Big 
shot. The left crashed home. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. And yet another big shot comes in. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Saved by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. It's all yours, baby. But you gotta keep working. Keep working, and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, okay? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight, but don't get lazy. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Punch nowhere close. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shot. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. You're not focusing. That's it. Just like that. I see and you can see he go. wanted to do that as he holds on there. Seven comes to an end. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. We Keep doing it. what you're doing. Okay. Right. You can throw him up with some head movement. That's it. Throw him up. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. As we open up round eight, we look at Teddy's scorecard, and it is much the same. All these rounds now starting to just blur together. They're taking the same exact form, one guy dominating the other. Yeah, and the one who's dominating, why should he change? Of course he's not going to change. All the emphasis, all the burden now is on the opponent. He's got to change something. And he engages in the clinch. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Keep doing what you're doing. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Yep, yep. Beat it to the point. Focus. That 
just missed. Stay away from the... Come on! And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Wow, nice flush left hand. What a big shot. He goes down. Oh, it may be close here. Can he survive the round? Well, that's it. So that's it. Unable to rise up and beat the count. A knockout victory. Walked right into that one. Let's make it official. And for that, we send it up to our ring announcer. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes. He was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.